A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Ash Wednesday. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Alfredo Rollon, Jr., SVD Associate of the SJDW. Our celebration will now begin. Please stand. <laughs> We come together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, those, Father. Those who are gathered here in the shrine, and also those who are following us in this live stream. And we're expecting that, well, we're relatively more people will come to Mass and, of course, will attend our live streaming because of this occasion that we are reminded you know, that it is the beginning of Lent through our liturgy you now by the um, distribution of ashes and, of course, the liturgy that uh, starts the preparation for Easter, na actually ganun pa yung Lent. It's a preparation for Easter. And so as we prepare our hearts, later on we will hear the prayers like repent and believe in the gospel. No? And so we prepare ourselves no? for this communion and be ready to receive the ashes, a beautiful symbol of Lent, and of course the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting, this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Return to me, even now says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is He, is slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps He will again relent and leave behind Him a blessing, 
offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord was steered to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. on me, O God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense, thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned, O Lord, Create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have seen. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and the willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be merciful, O Lord, 
from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation, I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the gospel. Glory to you. Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, O oh Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your hand know what your hand, right hand is doing, so that your almsgiving may be in secret and your father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room Close the door and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Praise Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ.
So once again, good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Before the Mass, I ask permission from the Rector if I can say a little joke during this season of Lent, especially today for the homily. Why? Because when I was preparing for my homily, I remember a Disney song. At alam nyo ba na may Disney song para sa season of Lent? Naisip nyo na? <laughs> Lent it go. <laughs> Hindi ko lang makanta, baka copyright ang Lent it go, maputol tayo sa ere. <laughs> But actually, it is about letting go. Do ginamit ko lang yung Lent it go. Pero ang Beatles, hindi rin nagpatalo yan, no? Meron din silang Lenten song, yan, no? Lent it be naman. <laughs> Lent it be, Lent it be. But in a serious manner, in a serious note, we, or I take into consideration those two phrases about letting go and let it be. Dinugtungan ko lang ng let it be God. Our shrine no, has somehow devised a way to tell us about the occasion that we are celebrating. And that is why here in the left side of the, of the shrine, of the chapel, ay makikita natin no, ang isang para siyang tablu or isang representation of what we are celebrating No? So I decided to make the cross look like a big, ano, a big ash yung ginagamit natin, yung inilalagay natin sa noo, usually pag ganitong okasyon. And of course, yung ashes andyan sa isang uh, bowl. And the representation of the dryness of parabang meron kang inilet go dito sa picture na ito. And you know, before the Ash Wednesday last weekends lang, Saturday, meron tayong parishioner na nagregalo sa atin ng mga halaman na may magagandang bulaklak. Naku, ito pa rin ang isang pagtatalo sa isip because of what we try to achieve visually. No? Ay kailangang i-let go ang... <laughs> Mga bulaklak muna. So, pasensya na po muna doon sa nagbigay ng halaman at bulaklak. Medyo binawasan namin. Why? Because of that spirit of letting go. With the purpose of letting God, letting or let it be God who take over for our lives or in our lives. Especially in this season of our preparation for Easter. And fittingly, you know, the gospel for today tells us about the actions that we do during the time of Lent you know, so that our hearts will be prepared for the welcoming of Jesus. All these three actions entail of letting go. Ano ba yung una? Sabi dito sa gospel uh, about almsgiving. Pag nag-almsgiving ka, pag nagbigay ka ng limos, there is always a feeling of emptying oneself of something important to all of us. Most of the time, ano ba ang pinanglilimos natin? Pera. Aba, eh, sa panahon ngayon, kung kailangang hawakan natin ng mahigpit, kung anuman ang natitira sa atin at naiipon sa atin because of the uncertainty of the time that we have, we are still in the time of pandemic. Marami sa atin siguro sa ngayon ay wala pang maayos-ayos na trabaho, yung iba na wala ng trabaho, yung iba na wala ng negosyo. No? And still, we are asked to give to our brothers 
and sisters. O yung iba naman, mga material things, gaya ng um, damit, or pagkain, or kung anuman ang pwede nating itulong sa ating kapwa. O tayo pa naman dito sa Pilipinas, hindi lang pandemic ang nandito, lagi tayong dinadalaw ng mga sakuna, ng mga kalamidad. Nang isang araw may nabasa akong report about Taal Volcano, meron na mga kalamidad. <laughs> Pas muna. But of course, we cannot stop the force or forces of nature. And many other occasions when we were asked by God na, oh, dukot ka muna sa bulsa. Tayo nga po dito sa shrine, you know, araw-araw ay nagpapasalamat kami sa Diyos o tayo as a community because in spite of this pandemic, patuloy pa rin tayo na nakakapag-misa, nakakapag-live stream, nagkakaroon ng konting development ng shrine. Why? Because of the generosity of people. Kayo. O mamaya, alam ko, sa offeratory, dudukot na naman kayo. <laughs> Mamamalimos na naman kami sa inyo. But alam ko, this time, you will be a little generous because of the occasion. Na generous nga ba? Ako si Father, ha? nag appeal na naman. But, but the spirit, no? And by doing that, No, we can focus on something or someone who is more important. Dudugtong ko na dyan ay um, fasting muna. Although hindi dito prayer ang kasunod, fasting. Tayo nga, twice, twice, ano ba, twice a year lang ang parang pinaka-required. Marami sa atin nagkaka-crisis pa. Kung alin nga ba, paano nga ba ang one full meal, ang one full meal ba natin ay may kanin, ang one full meal ba ay tinapay at kanin, ano bang kakainin ko, ang isda ba, ang hipon ba at sugpo ay pwede ng pamalit sa karne. <laughs> But of course, it is the spirit of that fasting Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoon, pag nag-fast ka, ba, huwag kang magmukhang kaawa-awa. Huwag kang magmukhang parang gutom na gutom in front of others. Of course, in front of God. Nakikita ng Panginoon, what is hidden, no? is seen by God. Kaya nga, yung ginagawa natin, sabi ng Panginoon, huwag pakitang tao kundi pakitang Diyos. Ipinapakita natin sa Diyos. And the fasting is a beautiful expression of one's dependence on God. Magugutom ka eh. Mararamdaman. Mas madali ngang maramdaman yan kaysa doon sa almsgiving. Yung almsgiving, maybe later on pa ang effect. No? pagkailangan ng may bibilihin. Parang, ay, parang nawala na yata yung pambili ko ng sapatos at naipamigay ko na. O ba di fasting? Agad-agad nararamdaman. You let go of a nourishment that we really need in a daily basis. Yung iba nga, hindi pa daily basis. Hourly basis or every other hour basis. You nimble on something, you drink something, you eat something. But by doing so, you allow yourself to reflect on what is more important. Especially in the Gospel text that tells us that, well, it is not only by bread that we live, but also in the words of God or also the presence of God in our lives. Ito, magsasalo-salo tayo sa isang presensya ng Panginoon. Hindi ka man mabubusog physically, but definitely you will be filled spiritually. 
So let it go. Let go of that nourishment. Others will take it into another level. Others will do some abstinence. Others will do some giving up of what we usually crave of or for during this time of Lent. But as I said again, it's the spirit of the fasting. And of course, by doing so, we realize of our need and how God will fill us. And thirdly is prayer. Prayer is a beautiful way of letting go, especially of pride. Because every time you kneel down, you come down, or you make a sign of the cross, you recognize somebody greater than us. It is our way of submitting ourselves to God to show His presence and at times His power over us. Especially kung ang prayer mo ay may kalakip na kahilingan. And ang dami niyan. Our Mass, ang daming gustong magpamisa. Ang daming gustong magpadasal. Telling us that, Lord, you have the power beyond ours. That, Lord, andito kami. We are in your presence, acknowledging your goodness, but also recognizing your might, yung inyong kalakasan, yung inyong kapangyarihan over us. And so with these brothers and sisters, we continue our Lenten observances. We continue our letting go, or yung ibang magsisimula pa lang. Wag nang let it go. Let it go na. And let it be God. Especially in this time, in this season, wherein we are preparing for the celebration of that life-giving Easter. Huwag kayong mag-alala ang katuyuan na ito <laughs> sa ating Lenten uh, decoration ay mapapalitan ng pamumulaklak at pagbubunga. Telling us that allow yourselves to enter into this season, season of dryness, season that will lead us to death, death of Jesus, and of course, death of us. Salent para tayong namamatay. But of course, with the hope, with the promise of the resurrection, and that is why even we are reminded that we are ashes, that we are dust, and to dust we will go back. There is the Jesus who will lift us up later on in our lives. And so as we receive ashes later on and be reminded of this, of being dust, of being ashes, and of course ask to repent, and believe in the gospel. We are reminded of the season of preparation, a season that will lead us to the resurrection of Jesus, the one who will give life to all. Amen. Please stand up. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly ask God our Father, 
that he be pleased to bless with the abundance of his grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, lend your merciful ear to our prayers, and in your kindness pour out the grace of your blessing. On your servants who are marked with these ashes, as they follow the lantern of servants that may be worthy to come with minds made pure, to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So dear brothers and sisters, now we will distribute ashes, but this time, no, we will sprinkle it on your head. Now we will not do the sign of the cross well because also of uh, precautions that we are having in this time of pandemic and also we will just say the formula for or the prayer for the blessing only once no? and then so later on pag nagdidistribute ng ash we will not say the prayers anymore no? At patulad din po yan ang pagkukommunion natin and we have our rector and our seminarians who will distribute ashes. Repent and believe in the gospel. Descend. Let us pray. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father that we may open our hearts to the kingdom of His Son, stay close with Him in prayer, and be active in works of charity. We pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer that the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons may welcome Lent as an acceptable time of renewal through their sincere works of fasting, prayer, and almsgiving. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to our, our prayer, prayer that government officials may be led to inner conversion and reject all kinds of abuses which degrade the dignity of the human person. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That the mark of ashes on our forehead may remind us of our human frailty and move us to spend the gift of our life for the building of God's kingdom in humility and loving service to our brothers and sisters. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer, that those who consecrate their lives to God continue to respond in the joyful living of perfect chastity, poverty, and obedience as a witness to the power of God's love manifested in the weakness of the human condition. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to our, our prayer, prayer that the Lord Jesus may take into paradise our departed brothers and sisters and at the end of our own journey welcome us to that same place he has prepared for us in the Father's kingdom. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Almighty Father, hear our petitions. May this season of repentance bring us your forgiveness and lead us to the joy of Christ's victory over sin and death 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Alay na ito ang tinapay na nagmula sa pagpapala mo At ang gabi ang alak na ito inuming inihain sa iyo Mahal namin Diyos inyong tanggapin ang munting alay mula sa amin Buong puso namin Hihintayin pagpapala na amin Hiling Aming hatid alay na ito Napay na nagmula sa pagpapala mo At tanggapin ang alak na ito Inuming inihain sa iyo Pray, sisters and brothers, that may sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy Church. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleanse from our sins, may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Honest to our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those we remember in this holy mass. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. of love you take away the 
sins of the world have mercy on us Jesus Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Sisters and brothers behold our Lord Jesus Christ Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that, that you, should you should enter, enter under my roof, but, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Reminder, the Holy Communion will be done by rows, starting from the right, facing the altar. Asher will guide you accordingly. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're ready there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Come 
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oracio Imperata. Merciful Father, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our needs to seek your protection against the COVID-19. Let us deserve and even claim lives. We, we ask you now to look, look upon us with love, with love and by your healing hand. hand. Dispel the fear of the sickness and death. Restore our hope and strength our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccine development made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use this pandemic vaccine to end the pandemic in our country and to the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with confidence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body. Strengthen their commitment protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they restore to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant, Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, lives and reigns with, with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessity, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious, O blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Renadimitz. Pray for us. So for those who you have friends who will ask if there's still a mass. For today, so at 12.15 po, there will also be a Mass here. At 10 o'clock, we have a live stream Mass, pero wala pong uh, 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 Mass goers. And 6 o'clock in the evening, we still have a Mass no, for the day. And of course, I would like to thank all of you for coming and our um, volunteers, our lecturers, our commentators, and all those who have helped a lot to make this Holy Eucharist, the celebration in the shrine, and also the live stream possible. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Pour out the spirit of compunction, O God, and those who bow before your majesty. And by your mercy, may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass Amen. is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.